Hi there, my name is Ian DeGraff from Quality Edge and we're here in West Michigan today on a very long slope roof with some what I would describe as outdated gutter protection not fitting for the situation here. So what we have is about a 24 foot run of gutter, 5 inch K gutter along the eve of this very long roof which is 45 feet long. We've got a lot of tall old oak trees around here dropping seeds and leaves and all sorts of things. We've also got roughly a 25 year old laminated shingle which is missing a lot of granules which tends to happen over the life of a shingle and a lot of these granules well all of them for the most part have ended up in this gutter right here. The gutter protection which was installed on here is this simple aluminum screen which is attaches to the lip of the gutter with two screws. Clearly didn't protect the gutter because it's full of crap. So I'm going to clean a little bit of this gutter out and then show you how the true guard gutter protection will tuck under the second row of shingles and move everything off this roof. Hey there. So what I've had to do here is not only scoop all the crud, granules, sticks, oak seeds out with my hands in order to make sure the gutter was completely clean and would flow, I've taken a shot back up here and I've sucked all the crap out of the bottom of it. Now that I've got that done, we'll move on to the next step. So with the TrueGuard product, this is going to completely cover both your 5 and your 6 inch case style gutter with our patented bracket. First off, I want to explain that this roof is a 412 pitch, thereby we do not need to break or bend the panel to the pitch of the roof. This panel is bent to the pitch of a different roof. You can imagine if the roof is sloping up like this, you want that slope to end right where this panel starts as it comes out of the shingle. Here's a panel right out of the box, five feet long, tucks under the second row of shingles, which I've already loosened. Very straightforward, I've just loosened it with a pry bar. And then what will happen is the glue under that shingle will, once it warms back up, glue back down onto the top of this panel. So essentially this is going to sit just like this and once a critical mass of surface tension takes place the water will wrap around here and go inside the gutter. The main function of the TrueGuard gutter protection product is keeping your gutters flowing and free of stuff like this. Tree seeds, sticks, asphalt granules, dirt, anything that's going to fall on the roof. This screen clearly was not a solution for this roof. Until there's a critical mass of water you will have some droplets falling off the edge of this panel. That is how surface tension works. Until the panel is coated with water, it, a couple drops will drop off the nose. The TrueGuard product is functioning perfectly. Notice the only place that the TrueGuard bracket penetrates your home is through the fascia. It reinforces the gutter on the back side going into the fascia. There are other gutter protection panel products on the market which will need to penetrate through the roof deck, which is never an ideal situation. So the true guard bracket clips inside the lip of the gutter. See how that's locked in there. Turn it to the left towards you and then turn it to the right. And you're all set to screw it in. The bracket is now in, it's completely firm. Now what I'm gonna do is just lift the drip edge up a little bit, apply some pressure. I've got my quarter inch bit extender here. You want it to be tight, but you don't want to over drill it. Installation on this roof would be very straightforward. I'd put a bracket every approximately two to two and a half feet. You can always use up to five, six brackets per panel, depending on snow load. All right, so I've installed another bracket about two feet down, which is approximately where it's gonna go. Keep in mind when you're installing these panels, you're gonna have an overlap where one bracket will be supporting the edge of two panels. So tuck the panel under the second row of shingles, Snap it into that clip, snap it into that clip, and now I've got a nice secure connection right there to just firm that all up to show you how that works. Color match zip screws ship with the panels. That's half a panel in. I'm completely secure. I can I can just wrench on this thing. I can. All set. Now let's see what happens when I do this to this. Oh crap. Oh crap. 
Another important point to mention on the TrueGuard bracket is the fact that this is a nose-forward gutter protection product, and what that means is the nose of the panel comes past the edge of the gutter. Stuff lands on top of the panel from your trees, roof, etc. Instead of giving it the opportunity to drop down flush with the gutter and go inside, things move right off it. Also with the TrueGuard panel, keep in mind, any roll-formed steel or aluminum product is going to have some residual vanishing oil on the top of the metal. Vanishing oil gives the metal the ability to move through the roll formers smoothly. There will always be a little bit of residual oil on the top of each panel. There's two options. In about 30 days this will completely cure or you can simply, as you're installing the product, Take a scouring brush, just give one quick pass on, on top, that's water, and then just give a couple quick sprays of Windex and give that a good wipe down.